Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am so glad to have you here. So on my channel, I focus a lot on frugal living, frugal homemaking, and budget meals. So if that is something you enjoy, please consider subscribing and come along with me while I show you some of the things I do around here. So it has been a while since I have done a complete extreme budget challenge. So I thought today I would see if I could feed my family of four for a week on a budget of under $40. So this is in Canada as well. So the budget is a little bit higher because our food costs are higher here. I find in Ontario at any rate. So come along with me and I'm going to show you exactly what I make this week. We're going to get creative with what we find. We're going to shop sales and we're going to make this happen for under $40 for a family of four. So I did all my shopping at our local Food Basics. That's our local uh, discount grocery store. And you can see here that the total came in to $36.01. So I thought that was pretty good. I think I got a decent amount. And we're going to see what we can do with what we got today. So one of the cheapest meals that you can do for breakfast is good old oatmeal. So this was the cheapest brand that the store had. So that's what I went with today. If you're looking for more protein in your breakfast, I also picked up peanut butter. So the peanut butter was to go with uh, peanut butter sandwiches for lunch. But if you're looking for more protein in your breakfast, a scoop of peanut butter in there will do the trick as well. Now, if sugar or any sort of syrup is not in your budget, that's okay. That's why I also got the bananas. So we take half a banana and cut it up in the breakfast and the sweetness of the banana will sweeten the oatmeal. If you got a little bit of cinnamon to put in there, that's awesome as well. But if that's just not in the budget, then some oatmeal and half a banana for breakfast. For lunches, my husband and I are probably going to stick to leftovers from the meal before, from the dinner beforehand. But for the kids who aren't always a fan of leftovers or if there is not enough leftovers, I also got the bread. So this bread is just a basic whole wheat. Um, I do stick to the whole wheat bread, not the white. And then we're going to put, toast that, put some peanut butter on it and cut up another half of that banana and put it on and that's an awesome lunch. So there is our breakfast for the morning for everybody for the week. So here is lunch for my kids through the week. Uh, this is a huge crowd pleaser for the children they love this and uh, for my husband and I we will be having leftovers from the dinner from the previous night so when you're cooking on an extreme budget it is necessary to get creative and to make things last as long as possible so with that in mind I'm going to take these four sausages and make them last for two meals so again, when you're on a budget, sometimes you do have to eat the same meal twice in a week 
and that's okay as long as we're making it taste good. So I'm going to do the same meal twice with this. I'm going to use two sausages tonight, save the last two sausages and do it again later in the week. I'll show you what I'm doing tonight and then it'll just be repeated throughout the week. So I am going to take these sausages, use two of them and make them into a stir fry with some of these vegetables and then pair them with some of these potatoes. So I'm definitely not using all of these ingredients as I need these to be used throughout the week. So these will be used, these potatoes that I got for $1 a bag, that was crazy. Um, I'm gonna be using these for at least two meals, possibly more, but they'll also be used for leftovers for the following lunch as well. So for these meals, I am also assuming that you have some sort of cooking oil and salt and pepper and possibly spices of your own, but it is not necessary to have those. So I'm just going to start by cutting these sausages up just into little bite-sized bits. Normally I'd use onion in this dish, but I did not purchase any of that today. So we're just going to stick with the sausage and the vegetables. Okay, so I'm using a bit of bacon grease that I had left over and I'm gonna get my sausages right in the pan. As they're cooking, I'm going to get my vegetables ready. Okay, so for the potatoes, I'm just going to cut them up and boil them and leave them like that. They'll be fine with just a little bit of salt on them. So you're just going to cover your potatoes with water and then we'll boil them until they're soft. Right, so to our sausages, we're just going to add a quarter of the bag of vegetables. Now the bacon grease that I used and the sausage, the fat from the sausage will give the vegetables a lot of flavor, but I am going to add a bit of salt as well. And this here is the final product. Not only was it delicious, but there was a lot left so that my husband and I could have some the next day. All right, so it's the next day and we are starting off getting our chicken ready. I'm putting it in the slow cooker and topping it up with some water so that we have a lot of broth to work with throughout the meals. I'll cook this for six hours on low. All right, my chicken's been cooking in the slow cooker all day. I've got it here. I'm going to take all the meat off the bones, save half for tonight and half for tomorrow night. All right, we are done shredding the meat from the bones. If you would like a more flavorful broth, you can put the bones back in the broth and just simmer it for another few hours or even for the rest of the day. This is the meat that we got from the bones. So we're gonna take half of this and work with it for tonight and half for tomorrow. Here, I'm just cutting up some more of our potatoes to go with our chicken tonight. I'm going to boil them again until soft and then just top them with a little bit of salt. All right, here is our dinner for tonight. There's plenty of leftovers for tomorrow's lunch as well. All right, so for tonight's dinner, we're going to do a pasta chicken veggie dish. So to add extra flavor to our pasta, I'm going to do the pasta in last night's chicken broth. And I'll just add the extra flavor that we need to the pasta and to the vegetables because we're doing without any extra sauces or spices. All right, so I am going to take my broth and dump it through a strainer into a pot so that we can get all the small particles out from boiling our chicken. 
So you can see that this broth looks like it's got a lot of good fats in it and some nice flavors. So this will definitely help to flavor our dish a lot. So I'm just going to dump my pasta into this broth and get it on to boil. I also like to add my frozen vegetables in with the pasta so that they can also soak in the broth, take in that extra flavor and cook all at the same time. All right, so my pasta and my vegetables are done. I'm actually going to strain them out from the broth, keep the broth to do my rice in again tomorrow night to again add more flavor. So we're making sure that this chicken and this broth gets a lot of life. All right, so now that our pasta and our vegetables are strained, we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken to it, and then you can add salt to taste. Right, so here is our, complete, our completed pasta dinner, and there's lots left over, so definitely enough for tomorrow's lunch. All right, everybody, welcome back to our last day. Today, we are going to do just a regular beans and rice. We're going to use the beans, the black beans that we got, and the rest of our vegetables. And we're going to cook our rice up in the rest of that broth from the chicken earlier this week. We've been saving it in the refrigerator, so it's keeping really well. We're just going to start by opening our cans and draining them and then getting them in the frying pan. If you have oil at this point, that would be great. Any type of oil or bacon fat is absolutely awesome because it adds a lot of flavor to the dish. So if you have any extra bacon fat, throw that in the pan. We're just going to drain these and rinse them. All right, I've got my beans in the pan. I'm going to add the rest of my vegetables. And then we'll get our rice going. If you have spices like chili spice or taco seasoning, um, or anything like that, that would work really wonderfully in this dish. If you don't, then just add a little bit of salt. All right, so in my pot, I'm going to add the chicken broth from the other night, and we're gonna get our rice done up. So that was about two cups of rice. I'm gonna add this whole thing of rice there. I'm gonna bring it to a boil, and then simmer it for about 20 minutes and then I'll put the lid on it so that that rice can soak up all the flavor from the broth. All right and here is tonight's finished meal. All right so that brings us to the end of our week of budget meals for under $40 for a family of four here in Canada. In the future I am going to work on more budget meals on more of a stricter budget. I want to see if I can do a week for under $20. Uh, so make sure if you enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe and hit your notifications so that you can see when those videos come up. Remember, if you are really struggling, please make sure you look for your local community connections like the food bank. People there are here to help you. Thanks for watching friends and I will see you again next time.